हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर फोर मोर ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस वर्ड स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ओपनिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस वर्ड 2007, द स्क्रीन कंपोनेंट्स, एंटरिंग द टेक्स्ट, एडिटिंग द टेक्स्ट एंड फाइल ऑपरेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट सी स्टूडेंट्स फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस वर्ड क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट बटन वेन यू विल क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट बटन वन लिस्ट विल अपियर यू हैव टू चूज ऑल प्रोग्राम्स When you will click on all programs, then again one list will appear. Choose Microsoft Office. As you can see, students, different applications are appearing. You have to choose Microsoft Office Word 2007. Students, as you can see, the Microsoft Office Word 2007 window is appearing. Now, students, I am going to tell you the components of Microsoft Office Word. Student, this is the title bar. It displays the name of the document. Clear? Like document one is written. this is the file name this is the ribbon it gives you all the options to work from single area clear this is the office button student the commonly used commands like open save save as print close these are available and stored in office button students now i am going to tell you how to enter the text for entering the text students you can simply type the text from your keyboard students i would like to tell you one more thing the text automatically wraps itself as the insertion points reach to the end of the right margin clear students i am going to type uh, one sentence as example like my name is ram in the place of ram you can write your name i live in riva i study in class 4 the name of my school is abc when you will type you can change your school name and name class etc so students i am going to tell you about one more thing paragraph a paragraph is a portion of the text type continuously without pressing the enter key students when you will press the enter key the new paragraph will start like after abc i have pressed the enter key as you can see my name is rahul this is the second paragraph and my name is ram i live in riva this is the first paragraph clear students students our next topic is editing the text what is the meaning of editing editing means making correction or changes in the text the terms editing include deleting copying moving and replacing of the text so students under the editing we will learn how to select the text how to move the text and how to copy the text so first of all i am going to tell you students how to select the text for selecting the text you can use the keyboard as well as mouse if you are using the mouse you can hold down the left key and drag it over the text and if you are using the keyboard you can use the shift plus four arrow keys if you will use left arrow key the text will be selected from left to right like i am pressing here shift plus right arrow as you can see students now if you are using left arrow then press shift plus left arrow key same as this for top and bottom clear up and down now students i am going to tell you how to copy the text what is the meaning of copying copying text means to copy the text from its original location to some other location so first of all you have to select it and then go to the home tab in clipboard group there are three options cut copy and paste so you have to use choose second option copy as you can see students the shortcut key is appearing control c for copying the text the control the shortcut key is control plus c and after copying it you have to press on paste button or you can use the shortcut key control plus v clear students now what is the meaning of cut it means moving the text moving text means to move the text from the original location to some other location clear so students i am going to tell you how to do the same so in this time if you will select control c it will be paste it will not change its original location but if you will choose the cut option it means it will change its original location as you can see students after abc in second paragraph my name is rahul was written now it has changed its original location now students i am going to tell you about the spelling and grammar checking or spelling checkings using the spell check option all the spelling and grammatical mistakes which had occurred while typing can get corrected 
so click on the review tab and then click on spelling and grammar so students rahul is written this is the red and under red by the underline is appearing you can click on add to dictionary then it will be correct riva click on add to dictionary when you will type it again it will be not so the red under red by the underline in your document clear students i hope students you understood all the things now for printing the text before printing you should uh, see the print preview and then after click on print option so if you want to print current document click on correct sorry select the current page and then click on okay but before printing you have to connect the printer in your pc clear now students i am going to tell you how to save the document so click on office button and then click on save option when you will click on save option it will ask about the file name select the file name like i have typed my work one students as you can see you have to choose the location where you want to save it i have selected desktop students already it is saved by my work one so my, i am going to give another name my name is ram so as you can see students on title bar my name is ram is written and your file has created students i hope you understood how to save a file